Okay, back to Ghost Truck. Um, we're on chapter 9. I think chapter 10 is the one where I have to do the hardest puzzle in the game. Um, the uh, I haven't been playing this because I've been playing Overwatch. Um, I finished the battle pass and I'm on the prestige tiers and I really want to get knight. Um, so I've just been playing a crap word of mischief and magic. Um, I thought I had to Monday, but apparently today was the last day. So, um, yeah, so we're gonna go back to Ghost Trick. Hopefully I remember how to play, because it's been like three weeks. Manual say... The 11th of July I last played this. And it's now the 10th of August. I guess it was a month now. Now I'm back in the present, and it's completely shrouded in darkness. I can s can't see it, but I can feel the tension in the air. It's a state of emergency. And that's only natural. With the power failure, all the cell bars opened automatically, plus now a death row inmate is loose in the darkness. I did what I promised Lynn. I stopped the execution. But that condemned criminal is now just is now in just as much danger as before. Trick time. Darkness is thick, but I can it can also be our friend. Right now, it's what Detective Joe is hiding himself in. I hope the detective is all right in this blackness. Better find him fast. Come to think of it, he gave me some advice. Head for the spoon, he said. I wonder what that was all about. It is, you know, it's Bucko's. Thought we were already down there. Okay, can't okay, do that. I'm playing Ghost Trick. Detective told me to head for the spoon when I got back to the present. So here I am. It's a bell. Better get back. Phew. I'm back. Thank goodness someone flushed his toilet. That was good timing. I had to use the cover of darkness to help the detective escape. But first, I have to find him. That's prisoner C-74. Secure the prisoner. Hmm, looks like there are hunters in this darkness. Hope they haven't found Detective Jode. Trick time. This is some true darkness. But luckily darkness doesn't exist in the ghost world. I can make use of that fact to help me find the detective. Hmm, what's that red light? Hmm, it looks like the hunter's eyes glow red. It doesn't look like escape is going to be easy. I'm gonna go talk to Joe. Ah, there you are. I was wondering what was going I was going to do. Are you the one who made that toilet bell ring? That's right. I still had another napkin lying around. Thanks to that, I managed to make it here. But how did you know what to do? I learned a few things about the ghost tricks during our time together. They certainly can be very useful powers, but at times not so much. I knew that if the eternal phones weren't working, you'd be trapped in the death chamber area. So I quickly came up with an alternative route. A route that made use of sausage head spoon and my napkin. Wow, this detective is good. 
time you praise me, go ahead and say it out loud. Anyway, it looks like time for a strategy meeting. Escape strategy, huh? This could be interesting. Let's do it. Escape strategy. We're going to talk about prison security first. I don't know if you know it or not, but this is a special prison. There aren't any dangerous criminals here, except for me, that is. Yeah, I did hear something about it being a special place. Yes, and because of the special status, you're not prepared. They're not prepared at all for emergencies. They have four timid security guards at most. I think I saw some hunters looking in the darkness though. Those are the guards. They're wearing night vision goggles. Night vision goggles? They're special glasses that you see in the dark. Very handy things. If I enter their, if I enter their field of vision, it's all over. So, it's all about staying out of the guards line of sight, eh? Yeah, we're, we're getting Metal Gear Solid here. Make sure you guide me to safe spots. So let's make sure we both we're both clear. The key to my escape is this darkness. Once the basement power supply is restored, Escape will be impossible. So I move under the cover of darkness, huh? I know I won't have much trouble with that. But I'm afraid I won't be able to see, so you have to lead the way. Lead the way? Once you find a safe spot for me to move, I want you to give me a signal. Okay, fine, but how? The dead don't have voice, even if they did, we'd have to be quiet. Don't worry about that, I have an idea. Let's just try it and see how it works. This detective likes to just dive right into things, even more than I... even more than Lynn does. If they find me, I imagine they'll shoot first and ask questions later. But if I die again, we can just start over, right? He says cheerfully. Now about the signal I want you to give me. Oh yeah, how am I supposed to do that? I've already been dead once. I don't know if it's because of that or what, but I can sense your powers now. You what? For example, you're in the bunk right now, aren't you? Wow, I'm impressed. I guess you have a sixth sense. I think it's more like a detective sense. Huh, that doesn't sound right somehow. Anyway, the details don't matter. Do you see this R1 here? Yeah? Where did that come from? We're breaking the fourth wall with these buttons! Let's use it to our use it as our signal. How will that work? If you press R1, I'll sense it. Then I'll move to where you are. So for example, if you move to that spoon and press R1, I'll run to the spoon. Simple, right? Alright, let's start our escape plan. Just make sure you guide me to safe spots, Sizel. So, that red light. 
That's the light of the night vision goggles on one of the guards. I can use the light to let me know where the guard is. And if you watch the light closely, you can tell how the guard is moving too. Very informative in this darkness. Keep a sharp eye out for it. Yeah, we're going to, you know... Oh, what was it? It's Metal Gear Solid. Uh, like something espionage action. Okay, just seeing what we got. We probably will take him up to that room. But he, they gave us the hint that they wanted to go to the spoon. But it's not safe right now. Oh, let's check the phone book. We haven't checked the phone book in a while. Me, the mystery. I was apparently trying to make a deal with some people from overseas tonight. Cigars field of vision is over. I have to watch the movement of the red lights. First time to do it is take a good look around and check out the enemy is doing. For now, how about just aiming for the neighboring cell? Her we can't hurry too much in this darkness. Let's just take it slow. Yeah, they got it so you can't really see it. Let's see what he does. I think there's like a trophy for not getting caught at all. This is a safe spot. You did well, Sizel. But fortunately, there aren't any more bunks. I guess I'll have to find another safe spot then. And I could do it as quickly as possible. This position is killing my back. This could be difficult. Okay, he's moving now. Guards are on the move. Oh, what? You can just send. You can get a sense of how the guard's moving by watching the red lights. And I think you already know this, but just in case, if you want to take a look around, you can move the screen with directional pad. I'm gonna use the guard to go for a little walk. What's that? 
think I have to get him when he's right there. Like, you can probably get past him when he's that way. So he goes back upstairs. Oh, they're both going upstairs. Okay, we're kind of trapped now. This area of the stairs is a blind spot for the guards. They won't find him here. This cell is safe. Okay, next is the stairs. I'll have to avoid these guards somehow. How, where should I lead you to? There's no space, space anywhere. We just wait till the guards go past somewhere on the stairs. Even the craziest spots will do it. If it's strange, worry about it. I have plenty of that. If it's strength, worry about it. I have plenty of that. He just uses strength to knock the guards out for me. Well, they do say my punches are faster than the speed of a bullet. I have my doubts about them, though. Yeah, I guess a punch is no match for a bullet. we're going to have to do, I think, is get them, scare them with the bell. Climb into the ceiling? I think, you, I think I could manage that. Thing said, I don't have access right now. Could you open the hatch and create an entry point for me? Yeah. Ah, we gotta wait for them to. Check it out tomorrow. Gonna wait till Bucko gets over the line. Hmm. 
probably gonna go down the stairs again. Well, maybe not. think I could get up in here, did ya? I have to admit, I'm a little surprised. Anyway, this is a safe spot. It's not much further now. Sigh. Come on now, don't worry, we're almost there. Now we have a choice of either trying to sneak out or making a dash for it. I'll leave the route up to you. Okay. Get out. Gonna fall down the hole, Bucko. to do is um if I move now I'm going to fall. Could you close the floor hatch for me? I thought he was going back down, but he was going up. I saw the light facing that way. Came all the way. We're so close, right? At this point, we need to sneak. I won't make a dash for. I'll leave the route up to you, but much for this. But I can go pretty much anywhere. We'll have to retry this and get the trophy later. But no, I saw the light, and I thought, oh, you know, he's going back down the stairs, but it was because he was facing to go up the stairs. That's why we didn't get that. So I think I have to lure him with the garbage can. I'm just going to make a go for it. What the fuck? He shouldn't have been able to see me. <sighs> okay, we're going to keep him in there and let the other guy fall again. I 
think that's probably the best bet is to try to get them both down at the same time. No, I thought I had plenty, like, I thought, well, not plenty of time, but I thought I had, you know, time to get before you get to the next step. Somebody's falling through it. It's like how he just gets up and it's just like, I'll go back to this. You know we can distract this guy by uh what we're gonna do we're gonna open that. I'm just gonna watch a bit. They'll both come. Okay. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. Oh, I guess not. How the fuck did he fall out? I went to close it. I closed it before. When he's been in there. <sighs> yeah, how did he fall? Oh, it's because I had the, that valve. It's like the other valve. Because he was at the one that, you know, is in the floor. Like, um, over the vent. Yeah, there's two valves. Like, there's one here, and then there's one there. We had that one. We should have picked this one. That's what the issue was. But you can fall down. And we can go here. Where's Buckle? I think he's coming back down. Okay. Yeah, only the um That's exactly what happened. Can you come over here, Bucko. You didn't think I'd get up here, did you? I have to admit, I'm a little surprised. Anyway, it's safe spots, not much further now. Sorry. But I don't worry, we're almost there. Now I have a choice either trying to sneak out or make a dash for it. I think the route up to you. Okay, we've 
that. Okay, next is not to talk to him. Next is we're going to open the valve. Let the bucko fall. He's going down. Oh, I think I have to get him. Uh, over here. And then open it. But first we gotta get the other guy back down again. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to do that. Can't get him up there yet, okay. Not what we want. <sighs> yeah, like he's not giving a shit that his coworker keeps getting eat it. Not what I wanted to do. Got the trick and the call him buttons mixed up. Like, what we should have done is close that, roll over, and then, you know, do it that way. Because we had them both downstairs. But no, fucked it up. Little jelly roll of Detective Jode. into the ceiling. get him to go up there.
Okay, so this bucko falls down. He actually goes quite a ways, I didn't realize he went that far. I had it was so close. I think I was really like really close to that. give that option. Hi Lid. Oh dear just came in. drop him down this time. We want him to get past it. Because he goes down the stairs. because the guy came back upstairs. So, that's what we're going to have to do, is get him down there, like make him fall. I thought we had time when he walked down, but we're going to have to actually get him to fall down and then do that. Uh, boring episode of this. Not very good at this. Haven't played this game in eight years. This is what I mean. It's just, it, just a matter. Yeah, 
Run the fuck here, bucko. Like this. I bet you do. You're wide open. Well, I could leave you to somewhere safe then. Guards can't help, but notice me when I'm where I am now. Leave that open for Bucko. I gotta think for a moment. Yeah. I thought he would just walk back up and fall down the stairs again. Why didn't he just bolt? Like, that was the thing, like... I don't know. Like... He's out in the open, just run. I think I need to, like, get to the phone or something, or, um... we need to watch more of where the guards are going but we do need to get Joe in the ceiling like that's the thing we do need to get him up there I don't know if there's anything further on the other side there might be another like hatch door open I should see if there's um you know with the guard because you can't really see here there's another guard over there But this is like the empty cell, like that's the thing. I'm just gonna let the guard, um... Fuck, that's not what I want to do. Oh, well, we're down. <laughs> Fell down the hole. <laughs> like, this is again what I mean. 
it's difficult that trick and you know ghosts like you know enter and out exit are different buttons because that's what happened We're just wasting time now. Distract this guard. Gotta open the the hatch. I'll ring this bell when uh, second there I was scared I'd glitch something and got him stuck. Oh, I probably should have uh I think I know what I gotta do. I think I gotta make sure that that trap door is um, like have it closed so he can get over it and then open it again so when he goes back on the way back like I'll be at the bunk and he'll be at the down the fucking hole. Well, that way we'll get Joad up there with the hatch open. Uh, yeah. Like how we're just like behind. I move down the fall. Close the hatch for me. Nope. That's not it at all. I need a drink. Uh, I thought we had time for the other guard to get up, but we also can't.
I'm gonna see if I can do that, but he, uh, Joe be in on the other side, so maybe he'll pull himself up the other way. Because right now he's going on the other side of the thing, but if he just went up, you know, like if he had just gone up the other way, he wouldn't need to jump over that hole. I don't think I got Joad in the ceiling yet. We didn't get Joad in the ceiling yet. Come on, get there before the guard falls. Try moving Joe over here. this later like with the uh, level select okay bucket you're gonna take me all the way over here and we're gonna try to get Joe out that way once you fall down the hole Okay, there's more hatches. Okay, that's helpful. Yeah, I have a feeling that this is what this is exactly what this is gonna be. And Bucko's gonna fall. You should just roll over there. Mm, that's a tough one. Anyway, I think you better open the hatch and create a point for me at first. Can't get it away now. Okay, at least you didn't jump on the uh we're talking to you. Do you have anything to say? Yeah, it's just the same as you bet. I didn't think I'd get up here. Yeah, I think what I thought I was gonna have to do is roll him over to that side and then get him up. But we're gonna see if he can do it from here. I just was worried about him doing that because, you know... There's guards down below. 
So what do you think? Say, we come this far, we did it. Great job, Sizel. Basement generator has been repaired, restoring power to all areas. Shit, son. Phew, we just made it. After all that fucking time. But the question is, what now? I don't have anywhere to go, do I? Maybe I'll go back to my cell. Oh, you fucking ass. You better be kidding. But I'm still a condemned criminal, you No. No, anyone's gonna op welcome me with open arms. Well, don't you try c contacting Lynn. She went to see some justice minister guy. So, an escaped death row convict is supposed to just report into the justice minister. Is that it? Hmm. Kind of like that. Anyway, after all this trouble you went through, I better just run. Well, it, that would be nice, yes? Alright, Sizzle, until we meet again. So now I say to condemn criminal's life and help him escape. It's really the right thing to do. I guess all I have to do is believe Lynn at this point. Getting almost to be an hour. Tech Joda is paying his cell. Not uh, me in his cell. He knows me. I'm sure he'll talk to him again soon. Good time. Yeah, we're almost back. That three minutes. Uh, can I just get back to the phone? Nothing left but an empty cell, I guess so. No sense to stay here, I might as well go back. Back upstairs using the eternal phone. Time to do it until we meet again came around quicker than I expected. When I got back to the garden, the next faithful call came in. Hello, this is... Sizel, are you there? Hello, who's this? I'm not talking to you, officer. Anyway, if you're there, Sizel, come here immediately. I'll be waiting for you if you make it in time, that is. Hey, wait a minute. Trace complete. My call, who is it from? I don't know, some weird call. Ah, uh, but who? Will call into my dancing. Yeah, well, once you get going like that, I'm not gonna stop you. It's a contest.